So welcome to the second episode, the first half of it, I suppose, of the Articles of Secession on chapter two of The Bad Ab Wars. If you want to watch the fully uninterrupted episode, go over to Crescent Edge Creative. Now, we've not done this to annoy anyone. It's merely to just get everyone over to this project that we're doing on the place where it will be, will be home on the Crescent Edge Creative channel. If you've not watched the first episode, that's over there as well, as well as the upcoming episode three, which we've already filmed. And we will get into the episode now. So welcome to episode two of the Articles of Secession. And we're here with our bad ab coverage of which we're going to go over chapter two which is Shadows of War. So, do you want to introduce yourself? Or are you going to insult me for not yeah. introducing you again? <laughs> no, 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 I got it. Uh, you, you're a big my, boy, you can do it. It's on my, it's on my channel, I guess. <laughs> cool. So, uh, I'm Alex from Crescent Edge Creative, and I'm joined today uh, with Max, Barefoot Minis. Uh, Miles can't join us today. Uh, hopefully, he'll be back for part two, where we kind of dig into some hobby talk and i'm sure he'll pose another philosophical question at us where i get to play devil's advocate um, but uh yeah before before we get into the the meat and potatoes though and, and, and before we kind of cover um chapter two uh we've for, well first we've got a shout out that we'll get into on um uh, a new sponsor to the show and then we're going to talk a little bit about uh yeah there it is epic basing so um epic basing's been uh generous enough to sponsor us with a few STLs. Um, Max and I in particular, uh, we're eyeing the um, jungle STLs that they've got, of which they've got a lot. So we'll be able to get some nice variety uh, between not only our characters, but um, each other's forces while also tying them together in, in a nice way and not looking repetitive. Um, so I, I love their stuff. I've got a bunch of it on my Mechanicum stuff. Um, if, uh, if you've got a 3D printer, you can buy the digital STL as a license to use those. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can actually purchase 3D printed bits right from them. So if you are keen uh, and you need, say, a ruined wall uh, or like a fox, or maybe you're, you're like super patriotic um, Canadian <laughs> modeling, needs a beaver because they do have a beaver STL. <laughs> get yourself get yourself a little uh little cyber familiar beaver um and and you're set so hugely stoked about this again giant thank you to epic basing uh we're, we're very excited about this this partnership um and uh, it's going to give max and i uh, a lot of a lot of uh hobby opportunity because <laughs> as as we were setting up for this i've been painfully sculpting leather straps on my guy and <laughs> And I realized that I lost a lot of that muscle memory because I haven't done it in like six months. <laughs> and if I had to green stuff an entire jungle base, I wouldn't get one guy done no. by the time Adepticon <laughs> rolls around. No, <laughs> so, that's the thing. We're both going to be using essentially similar products from Epic Basin. Like I've already actually yeah. seen the Epic Basin jungle stuff, which is on one of uh, Mark Ashworth, who was on the Barefoot channel playing knights had a yep. full display base and all of his knights were based with the epic basin i think he uses them for quite a lot actually um but it looked really good stuff so yeah happy to be using it throwing it onto yeah. my diorama if i can get yeah. it to a diorama oh, yeah. that's right yeah, yeah shit um yeah you're gonna have a whole whole diorama now you don't have to worry about safely transporting that bonsai across the country <laughs> or across the pond sorry you can like no 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 you can no. just Print print a bunch. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe a I can print bonsai a bonsai. STL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Birds of a feather. Yeah. <laughs> so, shall we move on to another shout out that we've got this week? Yeah, yeah. So, um, in the hobby arena for this project for Back to Bad Ab, like loyalists are boring has just been annihilating us in this challenge. That's his latest piece uh, up on the screen now. It's uh, an executioner's sergeant. Uh, I think he's using Tortuga Bay bodies, but then he's adding a bunch of green stuff work to it. Um, 
like the the shading i love that axe blade man like that's yeah. that's one of the things that just has me right keen on it is that one of the canos and axes that the not well the sons of horus just airing i think that's one of their axes and it just looks so good like one uh, of the, the better I think it's, axes no is it i think not? it's just the mark for power axe yeah did not know that then that's really yeah. nice axe yeah yeah, I've got a few of those in my Ashen Claws. Uh, it's like it's it's a pretty nice sea axe, um, so it it fits perfectly because it's the only way I think you can get a sea axe. It's one thing I I, I was never too keen on um, Fafnir Rand's model when it came out because his axes were like World of Warcraft large, mm. and I'm like, how is this guy swinging these one handed <laughs> and not just having the momentum pass through one of his legs? <laughs> Like if yeah. you're using a chainsaw and you like hit a knot and then it just like kicks out. Uh, <laughs> That's a very Canadian <laughs> reference. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, I I know what that feels like because I worked as a builder for a while, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> unless you're that or in sort of like lumberjack country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, I don't live. I mean, I live in a city, but not like a metropolis or anything. Um, <laughs> I grew up in yeah. the country, though. <laughs> like, so, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I always had that stuff. Like, I learned to drive on a ride-on lawnmower. Um, <laughs> and then that, that privilege was revoked when I, like, ran over the swing set with it. <laughs> but, <laughs> anyway, uh, loyalists are boring. Absolutely killing it. I think this is his third or fourth guy. Uh, and I don't even have paint on one guy yet. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you know but, what mine currently looks like? Is... And I didn't uh, yeah. conveniently have this to the side. That's where it's lived since I bought it. It's it's like that. <laughs> he's, he's no oh, yeah. further. He's than... still on the screw. Mine, mine's pretty close. Like I, I mean, by the time this comes out, he, he should be at least base coated. But um, yeah, he's uh, he just needs a few more straps, and then he's good to go. Because uh, there's no way the knife would just like hang out on his shoulder pad at that weird kicked out angle, like without something uh, keeping it down. Um, all the levels so, of realism mm -hmm. uh, and then I've got some nice bonding studs you can get those at your local uh, hobby store like Michael's if you're in Canada I think Michael's is in the US as well but um, I got a nice big bundle of those uh, from there so yeah. uh, from uh, from a dude named Blake brought them to LVO because my, my Michael's was sold out and so I, ha I had like a little sheet with some of them on it but it just wasn't enough um Anyway, uh, I haven't managed to wrangle anyone locally in um, for Bad Ab After Dark. I've got a lot of got a lot of excitement in, in another group chat going on Facebook um, for uh, uh, Adepticons After Dark, like when we actually get these kill teams together to like Royal Rumble. Yeah. But um, how about you? Have you had any any luck recruiting? So I have actually. So because this this isn't the first time that like, I've tried Bad Ab but it's potentially the first time that it will be successful. So locally in the area, like Phil, that you can see on the channel quite a lot, has jumped on. Um, Hell yeah. We've got Henry, who plays Empress Children on the channel, and BFG. He's jumped on. Nice. Who, who else have we got? Like, Yeah, we've got Matt, who's playing Skaven in the, the Mordheim, as well as Dave from the Patreon, who is playing Raptors. So I've got a local nemesis as well Whoa. as as well as an international nemesis so there's, yes. there's quite a few like he's, he's i was actually surprised with how how eager everyone has been or not everyone but like how eager people have been to jump on into the bad Ab project i thought oh and howard as well he killed me for not remembering him the first time but fuck you howard <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I I totally missed even putting Robert uh, into like the article from last month. Um, Robert. So, whoops. Uh, his his portion of the article is going to be extra big. Um, maybe we'll get him on for part two. Uh, as a little apology. Um, hey, yeah. sorry we missed you. Please let us have more of your time. An apology. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, perfect. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. shall we move on to 
the main yeah. segment since we're Chapter blundering our two. way through like what we're currently doing. Miles, we need you back. Clear. <laughs> yeah, I know. Frig. We quarterback this so well. Like <laughs> this and and this is like our second swing at the bat today. <laughs> we just like, oh well, you know what? These bases need some snow and this guy needs some straps and yeah hang on i'm getting a call for work (laughs) it's bound to happen we without miles he's just the driving force so yeah we're gonna go on to the book club which is shadows of war chapter two of Mm -hmm. of book one now quick synopsis for the chapter shit pops off and basically we have the start of the war for it, it, it like escalates, doesn't it? It's, the the chapter starts out with the final justifications for the war, and then across the chapter you get into the war in full, where it's joined by yeah. multiple uh, marine chapters. I just wanted to say legions, and it's joined by multiple chapters, and the high lords actually start to take notice and treat it like a war. So yeah. Yeah, and, and actually, I mean, you had mentioned VFG a moment ago. This would be a perfect spot if you were going to, like, if you're a big VFG enthusiast. I mean, especially with 3D printing and, like, it's super easy to get your hands on some warships. Um, like, you can, you can get this together so fast uh, if you wanted to, uh, yeah. especially because you're not having Legion-sized fleets. And you could play this out um, super easily. But I, I got to say, like, in reading chapter two, number one, I, I love that this civil war is not chaos driven, or at least at this point, it's not. Um, I don't know if it'll get there. I don't think it does. I think it stays kind of just, um, but I don't know. I, I actually haven't read book two. Oh, I've had them I, for a long time. I, I thought I you were having us off there. I thought you were having us off. Like, I, no. I don't know. Like, does anyone fall to chaos? <laughs> we'll no. have to stick around no. and find uh, out. Like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Next time, um, Lived Huron's Bat Channel. Um, yeah, but no, I, I yeah, think it's I a mean, very good point about like the BFG because it is largely at this point in the campaign or in this point in the series that all the engagements are being fought in the void. So and and the chapter kicks off with the car the Carthens. And their administratum allies yep. uh, sending a tithe fleet to Badab to try and force basically the tithe that's being withheld that is the basis for the Carthens economy, which is why they're annoyed about it. It yep. They send a fleet, don't they, that gets destroyed as they yeah. try and force well, and their I, way through the Ring of Steel. And I think the Mechanicus sent a Magus Biologist with that fleet as well, did they not? Um, yeah, and an inquisitor. Because they were like, you owe us gene seed. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, wh- why are the biologists always about? Like, I was just reading the Amphilion project the other day, and he's like, why are oh, you yeah. sending this useless like, <laughs> like biologist at this at this point? Like, just just yeah. <laughs> put the gene seed into like the fridge and bring it back to the sector, like <laughs> rather rather than yeah. sending the biologist with them. He's just not needed. It's I don't know. It's way, way too much involvement in uh, religion with the state at this point uh, in the Imperium. <laughs> oh, is, is that what you're going with? <laughs> yeah. yeah, not at all a dig. Um... <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's got to do his, his blessings over the state going on, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. He's got to incense them to make sure that, you know, um, that those little progenitor gross things like just keep going i just had a really disgusting image in my head of what a progenitor like <laughs> land must look like uh, and it, it shook me a little bit <laughs> go on describe it to us because this is this is not important <laughs> uh i pictured it as being like kind of grabby with like tentacles and stuff like, right okay uh, yeah like and, a heart muscle spoiler. with tentacles yeah yeah kind of or you know like a tumor with tentacles um yeah. yeah, like a cognizant flesh sack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so that that is what the biologist is there for. 
And yeah, exactly. Yeah. They get. He's got to keep them entertained, feed them a little bit, you know, whatever. <laughs> well, he doesn't need to keep them entertained because <laughs> they get blown the hell up, right? That's right. So yeah, and th- this ties into what we were saying in episode one. And if you, if anyone out there hasn't watched episode one yet, um, it will be a previous video on this channel because this has been released on your channel, right, Alex? Yep. Yeah. 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 So um, you... well, I think was. No, it wasn't wasn't part one on Miles's and then book club one was on book club on one's one. on yours. We'd forget about the other yeah. one. Miles can deal with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and for the future, we realized this is super fucking confusing because we can't follow it. So we were like, let's just put it all. We're just gonna house it all on Crescent Edge because um, of it. Like, I don't make enough content for it to get buried, <laughs> like, <laughs> like some of the other guys. Um, so we're, we're going to house it there. And uh, yeah, so you'll be able to find it. Uh, I'm not very good at placing the baubles, but it'll be somewhere on the screen. Oh, uh, linked in I'll the description link. below. Yeah. There you yeah. go. That's yeah, how you, that's how you get around incompetence. Below. That's how I do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. I figured out how to put the bubbles in. I put them on the last one. Um, so like at, 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 like if you're if you're watching through it, um like when when we introduce you uh i put like something along the lines of like get your sweet bat rep action here um and well, you can click on it and <laughs> the, we are recording again okay okay cool um yeah so anyway Ty fleet shows up uh and they're like yo give us our shit and the guys down on the planet are like Ty fleet turn around god damn it don't make me do this i don't want this blood on my hands uh and they're just like fuck them and then uh the other guys are like nuke them from orbit uh, yeah. and uh tie fleet gun accurate description so yeah at this point and this is as we as we argued about last time what was lost huron in the right or wrong um terror the the masters of mankind are the the masters the High Lords, that's what they're called. That's what they're called. Yep. The High Lords yeah. are made High aware Lords of, Terra, yeah. of the Tithe Fleet's destruction. And at actually this point in the war, they see it that it's justice has been carried out in a fitting way. Like, Huron yep. is the master of his domain and he's constantly on a war footing. And this is just a petty squabble with a neighbouring sector. So... Yep. I would contend, based on this chapter, that you were in fact wrong, sir, in the uh, in the last chapter. I've got to get the dig well, in there. I've got to get the dig in there. It's... <laughs> to, you know what? It's uh, you know, I, I'm I'm not so small as to not admit when I'm wrong. And and as I know, we're only two chapters in, but I already <laughs> want to switch sides. Like, I'm already like, no, Huron, Huron's in the right. He's well, so hard in the right. I was looking through like who could I choose as a chapter that's <laughs> that's secessionist maybe, maybe that I, Man- I think I can dig with <laughs> maybe Mantis Warriors and by the end of the series I'll be on Raptors yeah 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 we just <laughs> trade just cross in the middle so <laughs> so yeah. yeah so do you think this was the correct move by Huron to order the destruction of the Tithe Fleet or? Because he saw no, it back into I, a I think he handled or... that poorly. I think that was a little antagonistic because he could have, like, they, they would have still had the the Tide Fleet Idents and they could have seen them as on planet and it would have, he would have actually probably had leverage mm. in negotiation if he had just seized the Tide Fleet and the people on it. Yeah. Right? And then, you know, maybe you just got to feed an Inquisitor, like, you know, a bolt for breakfast and then, you know, everything else kind of calms down. Um, yeah, I feel like they probably get a little big for their britches, but the mage's biologist is just some like nerd. Like, you can just bully him, and he'll just shut up. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And, yeah, and plus, then you've got extra ships. Like it was just a waste of munition and of ships. Um, yeah, it don't really and, serve his uh, purpose either, does it? It's it's no. the destruction of the fleet. Yeah, that's fine. They don't want the fleet around, but. Other than that, all it's doing is drawing attention yep. to the secessionists when exactly. really they, they, they should be having as little attention drawn to them as possible. So, terrible move. Terrible yep. move. Yeah. Yeah. Critical mistake. Yeah. Um, and 
this actually but, escalates you know, the situation, it doesn't it? So that was the first part of Book Club 2. If you want to watch the full episode, head over to the Crescent Edge Creative channel now, where you can get that, along with obviously part one, and the upcoming part three of the Articles of Secession, in which will be coming out very soon, because it's already been recorded. I will see you over there. Thank <music> you.